Hey guys, Jerry and Komodo here, gonna be doing some more Titanfall. This time around I'm going to be using the DMR, and I gotta say, I'm not really a big fan of this DMR. It's not really bad, it has a pretty decent damage output, if you get a headshot you're gonna insta-kill them. Uh, but aiming at someone jumping all over the walls and running all over the place is not quite as easy as you make it think. And uh, I have the lowest zoom you could possibly get, I put an ACOG on it. There are two higher magnifications than this, and I'm not the type of person to kind of sit in the back of the map and snipe. Like, it's just not in my playstyle. Like, you've seen how I play, I'm very aggro. I gotta say though, that character looks like a spider in a bush got it on. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> kind of. Maybe that's what happens when spiders take weed. Are you what? <laughs> oh. well, that's totally how that works, right? Caven. I'm not even gonna question that. But yeah, as you can see, I have an ACOG on it. Teammate, get out of the way. Uh, I have an ACOG on it, and this is the lowest zoom you can get, like I said. And it's still um, not really that good for up close, but I guess that's not the point of this gun. I tried to make it an all-purpose gun. It didn't work. I kind of experimented with it a little bit. I put a suppressor on it. That made it absolutely fucking terrible. Uh, if you put a suppressor on it, it makes the gun significantly weaker. So it'll go from like a 2-3 to three shot kill to a 3-4. to four. And uh, that <laughs> may not sound... I could not get up this wall to save my life. I tried, I just gave up. Um, but yeah, one more shot may not sound like a lot, but when it's a semi-automatic sniper that only has like eight shots in the mag, I'm using extended mags at the moment. This is bullshit, by the way. Um, yeah, it, it's a pretty significant slowdown in time to kill. So don't put a suppressor on this. It's not worth it at all. Although it does make a really weird noise. Not that you'll know unless you watch another video with it suppressed. Because I'm certainly not going to put a suppressor on it now. <laughs> yeah, screw that idea. I'm probably just not going to use this gun anymore. Because it, it just doesn't fit my playstyle. Like, if you're a sniper, I'm sure you love this gun. But that's just not me. I personally have the worst luck when it comes to sniping. I'm usually pretty decent at it. Um... I mean, I think Red Orchestra 2 is a good example, but I'm used to actual sniping, and in this game, I don't want to actually snipe. In Red Orchestra 2, it's a lot easier. I mean, when you have a good teammate on your team that is a really good sniper, he will legitimately be credit to team, unlike every other shooter ever. Especially since in Red Orchestra, you have no idea where that sniper is. <laughs> it's just instantly dead. Now, where was that? Oh, he's all the way across the map in that general direction. That could mean, like, half of the level. <laughs> So yes, questions? Right, we should probably move on to the questions. If you want us to answer your questions, leave a question down below in the comments and we'll try to answer it in a future voiceover. So I got this question a long time ago, don't know why I didn't answer it sooner. What companies do you like and what companies do you hate? Um, as far as hate goes, I can instantly say EA, that's an extremely easy thing to say. But PC gamers are going to respond to that a lot faster than console gamers too, just because of Origin. They seem to be, like, the go-to guy for hatred nowadays. Well, they are the worst company in America <laughs> for, like, two years in a row. That's, uh, that's... Speaking of something. which, I, I have relevant news to that. Uh, EA is currently, as of right now, uh, that new voting thing. If you know, every single year they do that voting online, we're worst company in America, and it's, like, usually a bunch of banks, Microsoft, and, you know, companies like that get thrown in. EA has won for the last two years over banks. So Which if says you, a lot. Yeah, if you want to know how much people hate your company, there's a damn good example. We voted you being worse than a bank. A bank foreclosing on people's houses and fucking over their lives. Oh my god. Just yeah, that guy just gone. obliterated. This railgun is pretty awesome if you can hit people, but it's, it's kind of tricky to use. Uh, if you get used to it, it's really good, but you gotta be a little patient with it. If you hold down the aim button, or not really hold it down, if you're just aiming, it'll charge up and be stronger. So it's pretty awesome, but it, like I said, you gotta play patiently with it. It's also pretty hard to actually shoot someone that's above you. It doesn't seem to shoot in a completely straight line. That guy's four mechs on one, not gonna end well for him. Um, you're like at an arc. Not really, it just seems to fly kind of sporadically. Like, it's going where you're aiming, but it makes this weird kind of wave motion there. Hmm. If that makes sense. Kind of. Now, I'd have to say... Activision? Oh, right, that's what I was talking about. The voting for the, uh... <laughs> for that worst company in America has recently just started, and... As it's been started, apparently EA has been spamming Reddit with posts. 
with new accounts, just making new accounts and spamming Reddit. Just going, hey, you know all these changes we want, you guys wanted us to make to SimCity? Hey, look, we're making them. You know, and basically being like, hey, we're the good guys, and just basically anonymously posting to Reddit. <laughs> it's a little late now, isn't it? Yeah, it's also EA being shady. Questionable ethics, you could say. Now, what are you going to say? I was going to say Activision, because, um, well, personal things that I probably won't get into because it's a little boring. But mostly because of the whole buying of or merging with or whatever of Blizzard. And then, you know, subsequently Diablo 3 was a thing. They kind of ruined one of my favorite franchises on the PC. Like, I was legitimately excited. Oh, did you get ripped out of there? Yep, I wanted. I have that nuclear ejection thing where you eject out of your mech and it explodes, which is what I wanted what to do. What the fuck? Yeah, that, that was just kind of an idle... Uh, but a few of those are wandering around in the levels, not on either team. Okay then. Why'd you kick it? <laughs> it was there. It deserved to be kicked. <laughs> okay. It looked to be funny. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, just ruined one of my favorite series on the PC. I mean, I remember fondly playing Diablo 2 all throughout middle school, and uh, I of course. It was funny, I don't remember what age I was, I was pretty young, and my dad introduced me to Diablo 1, yes, my dad introduced me to Diablo 1, where you go to hell and then, like, most of the walls of the level are made out of dead and or dying people. Um, why does, yeah. it, why does it sound like Doom 3, where there's assholes on the ceiling? Oh god, don't even <laughs> talk about the Doom assholes. Anyway. But yeah, I generally enjoy both of those games, and then I played Diablo 3, and I, I was just like... Something's wrong here. And then everybody was like, Hey, it's coming out on consoles. Hey, it's actually running better on consoles. Why is it why why was it made for consoles? I mean, okay. Diablo one did get a console port. It, it was ported to the PS1. Yeah, but it wasn't a significantly better game and they, no, did, they didn't basically was, use PC gamers as beta testers. Yes, it was it was actually kind of a shitty port, but I enjoyed it. I actually played it at one point because I had a PS1 emulator on my PSP or whatever, and I played it, and it was fun. And, uh... No, I'm just not happy with what happened there. Yeah, usually, I'm I'm not really against Activision. Normally, when I look at Activision, I'm just seeing a company that's doing a lot of good business decisions. Maybe not something that I will be thoroughly excited about. The only reason I am not a fan of Activision is just for what they did to Spyro since I turned it into fucking Skylanders. Spyro had no reason to have his name plastered on that. Like, he's just not relevant. You pretty much killed off an entire franchise just to make that. You know, I thought they were headed in the right direction with that previous trilogy and then it just went to Skylanders instead. Yeah. I mean, when your average core audience that you're suddenly trying to advertise to doesn't even know who Spyro is... That's, Something's wrong. That's like saying, hey, you know, old fans of this franchise, go fuck yourself. We're selling out to kids. <laughs> anyway, leaving out on a sour note, I guess. There's been some more Titanfall. Hope you enjoyed it.